also uh, joining us on the stage is the machine gun woman herself, Fernanda, uh, Fernanda Urejola. Thank you. I just want to say that I'm really, really, really happy to be here again. It's uh, now for me, it's impossible to think in an audience and, and not thinking Fantastic Fest. Yeah. It's like when, you, when you're writing, when you're uh, doing a movie, you say you, you're always thinking in, in, in the audience, right? And now when I, I imagine that the audience is you guys. So. <laughs> I'm really excited also, it's my first time here, and I'm really impressed and delighted. It'll be, it will, I'm, I'm having so much fun, and this is really amazing, and working with Ernesto was great, and this whole experiment was fantastic, so I really hope you enjoy it and you have fun. And we will be, uh, be joining us for a Q&A. After the, after the screening, I do just need to say a uh, big thanks to Sony 4K Theater, uh, which, well, actually, Sony Digital 4K Cinema for sponsoring, uh, oddly enough, the Sony 4K Theater. Uh, it was really bold of them. Um, so, yeah, this is a balloted film. To, uh, make sure to take a ballot upon exiting the theater. And please, please, please remember to tip your hardworking wait staff because as hard as we're drinking, they're working even harder. So please make sure to take care of them and uh, enjoy the movie. Street Fighter, I'm gonna let you finish, but Machine Gun Woman was the best video game movie of all time. I don't know, I kind of got the sense that everybody liked it. Am I, am I wrong about that? Alright, well you know what, uh, let's, let's invite back to the stage uh, director, or, uh, oh my gosh. That movie, Your mind's blowing. That, you know what, it's like the movie stuck a stiletto right into my eye and it's hitting the back of my brain to the point that I am losing all... Hey, look at this, handy card. Mr. Ernesto Diaz Espinosa! <laughs> and of course, the machine gun woman herself, who I'm going to be both excited and terrified to be on the stage with, Miss Fernanda Uriola! Look at all these mics. And also, uh, we want to bring to the stage uh, producer, Mr. Derek Rundell. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ask, uh, I don't think it was an accident that the, uh, the graphics had the Grand Theft Auto font. I don't feel like that was unintentional. Can you talk a little bit about the, um, the more video game type inspirations for this movie? Well, yeah, uh, obviously it's uh, GTA. Mm. Um, I, when I, always when, when I was playing that uh, video game, I felt like uh, a movie. I mean, it's, it's the, the video game that you feel the guy, the lead guy of a movie like uh, in the genre that I really like. So I wanted to, to make a movie with the, try to be always in the point of view of the character. So it made total sense with that game and so they said, okay, let's, let's do something like, like completely, you know, uh, inspired in, in, in the game and, and mixing it with the Alfredo Garcia's, I mean, bring me ahead of Alfredo Garcia's, uh, San Pekin Pass, that is one of my favorite movies and there I and, and Fernando I have a question for you as well did uh, Ernesto tell you right off the bat the outfit that you would be wearing or was that when you got to set he's like oh surprise I didn't tell you but here it is can I tell him the truth yeah, please, please, please. well we didn't we didn't have an outfit at all so 
Uh, that would have been a bold choice. This, <laughs> okay, that would be scary. So. Um, oh. I have no microphone. Okay, okay now. <laughs> so this this movie was uh, really an experiment. He filmed it in 15 days. It, it was really wow. amazing. Wow. And, yeah. <laughs> Great. That's not a long amount of time. Like that, you know, I was I was having I was filming a series, a TV series, and I was really busy. And Ernesto called me, and I was really excited to work with him for the first time. And uh, I love the character. And we we started looking for an outfit, and we, we couldn't find it, and we didn't have the money. So we started. Uh, everybody took some stuffs, and some of them didn't fit. And and the day before. We start shooting at 12 in, in midnight at my house. We find it. That <laughs> 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 was cool. No, no. Wait. Wait, was it in Ernesto's we house? It. We bought it. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I have a feeling that uh, a few people out there are going to have some questions. Uh, so, why don't we go ahead and open up the floor here? Yes, no, maybe so. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Is there going to be a machine gun woman too? Actually, Whoa. <laughs> actually yeah, we're we're thinking, always thinking in sequels or other movies that. We're, and for this one, we're thinking about uh, bring me the head of Santiago Fernandez, the other guy that now is in jail, uh, because cops stopped him at the end of the movie. So he wants to go for the machine gun woman again. That's that's kind of the idea for the next one. Yeah, we, we could do. Yeah. Uh, was it intentional to have that footage from the end shootout on the video game when you were playing at the beginning? Yeah, intentional, intentional. Is that something that's a dream line? Or? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, like maybe you think it's, uh, his imagination or something. It's, uh, for me, it was like, it made, made sense to have it like that. So, you know, I, don't, I don't have like a, intelligent reason for that. <laughs> That's, it says, hey, it, it looks cool is a good enough reason for anyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm saying I really like the music. It reminded me of throwback of John Trump. Thank you. Thank you. And Rocco, uh, Rocco did the music again for this one, is that correct? Yes. He's, he's done pretty much all your scores of this one. Yeah. Uh, yes, in the back. Also about the music, um, uh, what was the theme in the love scene in the car? Who, what song was it and who played it? And how did you make the choice? Uh, that's uh, a Chilean band, it's a new band. The, the name is Astro. Uh, they are getting big now. I heard them uh, one year ago and I really, really loved all the, 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 the songs. And when I was shooting the movie, I was uh, in my breaks, I was listening to Astro, the Walkman, and I was like, man, this kind of makes sense with, with all of this. And, and when I was editing, suddenly I, I, I tried that song and I liked it. It's, well, it's like the romantic moment, and for some reason uh, it just worked for me, and I put it there. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, that's totally right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, we gotta put together this gear. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't know that I could say who would win that fight. And I'm kind of interested to see the result of that. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yes. Sorry, sorry, what? The filthiest truck in all of Santiago. <laughs> ah, that was, uh, well, <laughs> well, that uh, truck is the DP's truck. <laughs> and, uh, we 
were like, okay, which is going to be the car, her car, you know? Which, we didn't know, and suddenly, man, that, that, that's a cool car. It's like 80s classic in Chile. So we said, well, we got to do something with it. What, what, what is going to be the art, you know? And uh, the art director said, man, let's put, you know, uh, what is it? Just fuck it, let's fuck it up, you know? <laughs> Has your DP ever worked at Jurassic Park by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Uh, about Mandrill again, we always meant just to be a reference or were there plans to have a small cameo for all the other assassins? Yeah, the idea was to do a, a small cameo, but then we didn't get to a really good scene for him, so I prefer to, to not do it. it so, out. yeah. Yes? The Sony F3 with the with the how was the name of the Gemini Gemini it's like a, it records in better quality and like in raw quality that you, then it, in the color correction you can play more with it. Um, do you want to answer that? Well, uh, <laughs> well, actually, this was uh, an, an experiment. Uh, we wanted to to start like the really uh, like the Latin explo exploitation genre, and we had a really, really, really low budget. I mean, lot, lot. I mean, low really, 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 <laughs> uh, compared to the movies. And we were like, uh, we wanted her, she's one of the, I mean, she's a huge, huge actress in Chile, maybe the best. And we wanted her uh, in the movie, but she didn't have time. She just had uh, four uh, Saturdays in the month. So we had to just tr try to have do it. Yeah, and uh, um, she didn't have time also to train. So one of uh, Marco's guys went to her house at the end of the day when she was uh, uh, after her job and, and just three, three days training or maybe one. Once. Yeah. And <laughs> it was once and the other one, they, 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 um, they teach me how to use guns. One was for fighting, and the other one was for guns. Uh, well, I love to train, so it wasn't that hard, and everything is about the attitude. And, but, but I know if, uh, if we've, we've trained a little bit more, it would be better, you know. Mm -hmm. oh. no. Could have fooled us that one day of training. That attitude was definitely sold. Yes? Um, is there more footage of the topless tango scenes? Like, if you just kind of let it roll and let them do anything they wanted? Or did the dancers have, like, a really set uh, choreography that they were doing during the scene? I'm actually really interested to know the answer to this question. Will there be more topless uh, tango footage on the TV? Thank you. Thank you. Well, it, it's. Yeah, for sure, we can do that. <laughs> Because, uh, as I was telling, everything was really like a kind of a exploitation and documentary, and this is a real tango club. The owner is uh, Chelongana. Chelongana, the bad guy, is the owner of the club. So, <laughs> so, so he dances tango there, he's also an actor. And we start talking, what, what are we going to do here? And he, he told me, Man, let me just play around and you should. Okay, let's do it. And we, we shot like an hour of footage there, playing around, and, and then we, we, we beat that. Derek, I actually have a question for you. Uh, and if you're not able to answer this for legal reasons, I totally understand. But with this being a 15-day experimental shoot, were you ever forced to pull some less than legal shenanigans to get the shots that you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, a little bit. But, it, you know, like Ernesto was just saying, we pretty much people that... Their, that was their job. They were in the movie. We pretty much scrapped for any resource we could. But uh, yeah, there was some uh, interesting stuff. 
It's like the last scene with the cops getting pulled over. Oh. Or the, the really happy. <laughs> that was, yeah, that, that, we didn't have like a, well, the movie was, the, 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 the ending was uh, him following her, and we were shooting, no permits, obviously. And, uh, the camera was going in a, in a truck behind the other cars, and was like a huge, like everybody saw us, obviously, and suddenly goes, See this car is a really uh, uncommon car in Chile because we don't have those cool cars. Uh, so they stop the car. Obviously, camera, strange car. What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> so they stop him, and we obviously have that footage. And when we uh, try it in the movie, and then with the with the game over thing, like made sense. So man, that's that's the ending. <laughs> fake blood and holding the guns like what? I don't know, what do you want? <laughs> I got a movie to finish, let me go. We got time for one more question it looks like. Anybody want to be that, that yes, okay, absolutely, what go for it. Where are the boots? Yeah, where, where are those boots? Where are the boots? Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> do they make them in men's sizes? I'm asking for a friend. I don't know, it was from a sex shop. Yeah, actually, those are the only things the only that we bought. Had. Remember? Yeah, that's, that was that the only... You were obsessed yeah. by that, those... Uh, yeah, I, I thought uh, I thought that the, the heels, they, yeah. they really should be a little... The, a lethal weapon, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I was obsessed about the shoes. And I was telling Ernesto, that, that we should bought. Like, I know we don't have money, we, we don't have anything, but I can I can get all the, the other stuff, but the boots, you need to buy it. <laughs> so, the funny thing about that is that I, I went to, myself, went to the sex shop, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I met my uh, a friend of my wife there. <laughs> so she was like, oh, what, what are you doing here? Uh, I need well, to get these boots. <laughs> yeah, she didn't move, you know. She didn't believe that. <laughs> well, on behalf of all of us, uh, Fernando, Ernest, uh, and Derek, thank you so much, so much for coming out.